All right, everybody gather around, take a seat. I have an important announcement for all of you. Some of you may already know this, and some of you probably don't, but today is the day I admit to you that I'm no good at Sea of Thieves. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to a game somewhat similar to that, known as Sailwind, a game where we get to transport our very own cargo via ship in the age of sail. As the name would imply, we get to travel around what seems to be the Mediterranean, buying cargo and selling it and completing contracts for local companies in order to make a nice profit for ourselves in three different ships. This game is early access on Steam for about 20 bucks, and it's kind of made by like one developer. He's done a good job of making a survival uh, game as well as, of course, we have to eat when we're at sea. We also have to sleep and drink and transport all of our cargo around and try not to get, uh, you know, tipped over by any sort of storms that can come in. We'll learn the basics of sail today, drop off some cargo, and see some exotic locations in what seems to be three different maps, or at least starting locations, and also three different ships, too. In Sea of Thieves, we absolutely get demolished every time. It's a great game uh, for the PvE element, player versus on enemies as we fight AI. And of course, as we always come back with our cargo, we always get destroyed by PvP players that just do nothing but Sea of Thieves because they love it. And it's a great game and a great concept. But I always wanted to try to do this, kind of more of an open world, maybe like a American Truck Simulator, Euro Truck Simulator concept, though on a much smaller scale. And well, via sale. Let's go ahead and start ourselves a new game here today. And I wanted to thank everybody, too, for the million subscribers. Uh, I'm doing giveaways pretty much every day on our Discord. So if you haven't joined the Discord yet, make sure you go ahead and do that. I'm dropping keys for all sorts of different games. And there's been some past videos where we've done giveaways there, too. So make sure you jump on and smash that join button, too, to become a member. And don't be afraid to smash that like button if you'd like to see more of these videos and, of course, more videos over live streams, too. I know some of you prefer this, but let's start ourselves a new game here today. We can see the three starting locations, easy, medium, and then hard. And you can see that there's different ships. This port looks beautiful, by the way. This is what makes me think it's like in Italy or uh, Greece or something like that. And then, of course, we've got uh, kind of a jungle area. That reminds me a little bit more of Sea of Thieves than this. Kind of more of a, like a North African terrain, too. So we're going to go ahead and get started here, but there are two other locations, and I think these might actually be different maps, too. I don't know if these are cities or if they're actual maps, but I have a feeling it could be maybe maybe both. There might be a way to travel between the vast destinations. It's pretty generous, considering that it's a, you know an indie developer. So let's jump in. We'll take a tour around, and then we'll go ahead and see if we can get underway and drop off some cargo today. So yes, this game is early access, and there's a lot of unfinished stuff, and the developer is adding all sorts of different cargo and uh, options for more uh, different types of boats and locations and stuff in the future, I'm sure. Here's our lovely boat. It's moored up to the dock, and uh, we get to take this around. There's also NPC traffic to watch out for. You can see somebody coming in now with some cargo. The NPC actually has uh, different types of cargo, too. Uh, barrels or boxes and different amounts and such, so it varies each time, and it'll be the same for us as we pick up cargo to ship it around. Oh, there we go. Right, so when we're ready, we'll go ahead and untie the boat from the dock, and we'll lower the sails and raise the anchor, which is already raised, and head underway. The three ships have different things to control, and they work a little differently, and there's our little hammock to sleep in, too, so as we sleep, our ship will continue to travel, uh, so it's kind of an important thing to make sure we find a safe spot to dock for the night if we don't want to keep on rolling and get caught in a storm. Now, there's some really nice locations to go to. The one I want to show you is, uh, I think it's called like Gold Rock Coast or something with a large castle on it. And it's uh, quite an interesting feat to be able to see so much detail here. A lot of the Sea of Thieves maps kind of look uh, more cartoony. They almost look like a Disney set or something, a Disney World or Disneyland. But here they seem a little bit more believable for being farms, little homes. Almost looks like the uh, Flintstones, like like we're in uh, uh, the town of Bedrock or something like that. I don't know, the massive stone driveways. Lots of stuff to buy here. There's different equipment to help us out. So we can buy uh, lamps and compasses and uh, different types of firewood and hooks here. To I think we can actually go fishing. Yeah, fishing hook here. So uh, And fish hooks that we can buy. So we can fish our, uh, from our boat, capture those, and then make a meal on the boat. Pretty cool. And there's lots of nice little buildings to go and see in different locations at each map. So it's definitely a good idea to look around and see what it has to offer before you leave. I wonder what this building is over here. A nice little shrine of some sort. I don't know if we can go inside, but the maps look great. Much more detail than I was expecting for a game about sail. I was expecting more detail about the boats, but it seems to equally match the uh, boats as it does the city. We can't go inside, but hopefully in the future there's more quests or something for us to transport. So there's one transport company at each island, or at least in each city. Some of these islands are large enough in order to have multiple cities, but we'll just see a few today. There's also a little handy guide on getting started on how to operate the boats, 
how to uh, also sail, and a few things on how it works in the game. Like, for example, pressing tab, we see that we have an inventory at the bottom. We have 100 gold, uh, the green bar being our energy bar, blue bar, of course, being water or hydration, and the orange bar being our food, our sustenance. So we'll have to eat every once in a while. We can eat on land. We don't always have to uh, go fishing and, and actually cook the fish. There's plenty of vendors along the way to buy different types of things from, like, for example, coconut wine, so we can have some uh, booze on the way, and or a little, uh, what look, <laughs> looks to be yakiniku or yakitori, a.k.a. just like shish kebabs and bananas and bread and all sorts of different things to keep us sustained on our way. I want to see if we can actually buy this and put it in our inventory. Um, did, did I buy it? Oh, uh, buy bro. Oh, we can pick up with left click, but it'll go back to the vendor, or we can right click and then eat if we need to. And I'm not exactly sure how we can put it in our inventory, uh, but we can store it on the boat. There seems to be a minor inventory here of a few slots, but that might be for things like the compass and whatnot. So let's go ahead and put that on our... Uh, oh, looks like we can eat with F or R or right click. No, just R right click. All right, well, we're going to put this on the, the boat here. Now, I don't know if there's a way to store that, but this is a water barrel here too. Oh, wow, seagulls and such flying around. Uh-oh. I hope those are seagulls and not vultures. Oh, yeah, here we go. NPC has arrived with a few boxes and uh, kind of automates trade that way. He doesn't get out of the boat. There's really no foot traffic in the cities, but it is kind of cool to see other boats delivering and picking up cargo, and then they'll be on their way. There's different boats, I think, in this area, so that's one that's similar to ours. So when we get underway, it'll look like that when we're trucking along. All right, let's go see some of the contracts. We can actually take contracts here from the table, and we can do things like uh, rum to the academy, which is in the far north. We start here in the southwest corner, uh, just kind of towards the corner of the map, and there's a few destinations around it, kind of like a half circle towards the bottom with a large island in the middle. That's where I want to go. We could, uh, I'll bring you on a date there, dates to Cold Rock City. We have coconuts, too. There's probably rum and stuff that goes there as well, um, or other locations. Let's see here. Albacore Town, all the way to the east. Uh, but let's go ahead and grab something to Gold Rock City. There we go. There's some rum. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, where is all the rum gone? We're going to transport that. Now we can do multiple deliveries at a time, too. If we also want to bring dates to Gold Rock City, um, we can totally load up our boat with tons and tons of stuff. So uh, Or something along the way. So we can go north, then east. So it's kind of cool. You can plan out your own routes and the amount of uh, cargo you want. Oh, we need reputation, though. So uh, as it explains in the game, if we uh, botch some of our deliveries, if we have... Um, if we're late, or if any of it gets damaged or lost or destroyed, that's hurt. that really hurts our reputation. And uh, I think also our payment increases. The more times that we make deliveries, the more that they'll increase the amount of money that we can get from each delivery and or cargo that's available and the amount of cargo that we can take. So it's just like how it is in American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator, where until you have certain training and XP, they won't allow you to transport anything other than like dry vans until you work your way up to diesel fuel and jet fuel and... Um, maybe more sensitive equipment, and in this case, it's mostly just <laughs> food and uh, booze that most people want to have transported. So some islands have more, some islands have less, and it kind of is the whole thing of trade. So yes, we have to bring things over one at a time from what I've seen. There might be a way to do it differently, but I like being able to load up the boat little by little and then stack it all on uh, on the uh, boat itself. There, I don't think it, there is a way to store things in order to keep them from rolling around. I don't know if we can... Uh, tie them down or, or whatnot. Oh, apparently I, I'm in bed now. With, with oh, okay, all right. This okay. <laughs> oh, where'd the rum go? Where's all the rum gone? No. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I was I was trying to uh, just trying to take a little break. That's all. It's it's been a few minutes, so you know me. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the boat and drop our uh, rum here. Okay, so we've got two crates of what was this again? Coconuts. Uh, oh, dates. Yeah, yeah, and then the rum. Yeah. So. Uh, Pretty much your standard cargo to start with. I'm hoping in the future we can transport, and I, I don't know if this is already in the game or not, but I'd love to see some other cargo like cannons or large crates or something cumbersome like it is in Stormworks, which is another wonderful kind of open world transportation game. There's combat in that one now, uh, but it all started out traditionally with the, you know, like diesel sailing. I, I don't think there's actually like sailboats in that game. So if you want a sail game, this is definitely one for you. All right, before we leave, we're going to take our time here and look at the uh, the handbook. There's a lot of useful information here. 
about how the game is played, about how goods should be delivered in a timely manner, and that you can press tab to access the mission log. Here are the controls for the boat, such as how to raise the anchor, how to adjust the sails, and how to move the uh, ship there with the, uh, the wheel, the helm. We also have uh, sailing techniques for angling and reefing, so that's definitely something we don't want to do is, you know, tip the boat over, but you can kind of see how the sail will be adjusted whenever the wind comes in. It's going to be a hazard or a danger, so we got to be on the lookout. we got to be careful. And, of course, survival. Yes, this is a survival game, then, as we have to eat and sleep and not die to death. And, of course, um, food can be cooked on the stove, so if we're out of money or if we want to save money, why not just live off the land by fishing? It's a good idea. Right, well, we'll go ahead and drop this, too. I don't know exactly how to put things in the inventory. I'm sure it said I tried a few times to, like, move things into the inventory. Oh, wow, now it works. So if we pick up something and then click, that's where it goes. So can I, I can't put this in the inventory, can I? No, it explodes. Okay, so we can take this uh, compass, which we'll need. Oh, actually, we can just press tab and see if we're pointing in the right direction, right? Oh, it looks like it works when we're in the tab menu. Okay, um, we'll see about that. And then our lantern, too. Perfect. And I think that's all for um, non-essentials or, well, at least things that we're going to keep on us. Okay, well, let's get underway then. We'll go ahead and uh, take the boat and untie the uh, boat from the dock here. There we go. And we should be able to shove off and be underway. Oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Wait. Wait. Where are you going? Oh. Oh, if you press... Wait, what, what did C do if I press C? Oh, ah! Okay, now I'm in the C. <laughs> I want to see what some of the controls are before we get in. The game does a good job of explaining most things to you, but not all. Oh my goodness. Well, luckily there's a ladder on this side. And it looks like we can roll some of the barrels down into the water too. And then just pick them up and throw them onto the ship that way. But there's no need to do that on, on this boat. It's really just a boat. Oh boy. Okay, what are we going to do here? Looks like this is the uh, the sheet winch. Okay. Um, I don't know everything about games. Or sailing, that's quite apparent, but I don't think this is right unless I'm encountering a kraken at the docks. <laughs> this looks like I'm listening to Audacity or something like that. Is Fruity Loops playing? What's going on? Oh boy. Alright, we need to get away from these docks. It's uh, The sun is going down rapidly. The wind still stunlocked me, but uh, oh boy. <laughs> I can't even get out of the parking spot. Isn't that hilarious? Oh me. And without a glitch, too. But hey, don't worry. This Again, remember, small dev team. And it's kind of funny. So we got to laugh about it, right? Okay, let's all laugh on three. Ready? One. Okay, well, you got ahead of me there. Okay, I think I sprung a leak at, at the dock. What the hell? Um, oh my god. What's going... What? What the... Oh my god, I hear my ships exploding. What's going on? The <laughs> what the hell? Is an orbital laser coming in on my position? What the hell is this? Oh my god, my boat. Oh, I threw all my cargo out. What the hell? Hey, come on. I needed that. Oh, my God. I can't go anywhere. All right. I swear to God, this went better in the test when I tried this out beforehand. My God. <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, it's like an orbital cannon dunking on my ship. If I could get a little wind, please, that'd be nice. Well, at least we got to about four. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is bad. Um, This is really bad. Oh, there's uh, a ladder on this side, too. Uh, is there a way I can... There might be a way for me to maybe, maybe buff buff this out. Can I get the little... Oh, God. Can, can I get the little cup, please? Oh, there it is. Perfect. Okay. Well, let's see if we can... Uh... Right away. Okay, that's that doesn't even make sense. Okay. Wow, Gilligan was better than me, dude. And this is just a 20-minute video. He was on a three-hour three, three tour and screwed up. Holy F. Okay. Uh, let's just go ahead and do this. This is great, though. Now, believe me that this actually works well, and I've tried it out uh, before. I don't, I don't know what this is, but I'm sure the dev will see the video and, like, laugh at it. You can see the the water's definitely uh, nicely detailed, though. There is storms in the game, and the, the water will change, uh, you know, effects and such, and it'll become an obstacle as well as the wind, too. So, eh, whatever. This is, this is hilarious. I love it. Let's uh, try to actually teleport our boat, though. Let's try to recover... So it'll cost us a little bit of money. Uh, we also receive food, water, and rest. But that's okay. You didn't expect I was going to go too far without trouble, did you? No. So again, this is just one of those maps. And I want to see the other two as well. There's plenty of places to explore. We're back here at daytime. We're just going to do an auto-recovery. 
Wait a minute, is the wind in my favor this time? No, not even this time, wow. Okay, let's go ahead and recover though. And uh, of course, each port is a little different. I wonder if we'll have to stay at port for a few days if we actually can't like go because of wind conditions. I mean, if we can't get out of the dock, uh, I don't know if there's actually any way to move the boat uh, other than recovering, which I think would just be what you'd do if uh, you capsized and wanted to continue playing. So here we're auto moored to the coastline or the, the pier. And this is beautiful, man. We're right now in the middle of the, the map where we were going to deliver to Gold Rock. And uh, yeah, it costs 25 gold to uh, to do this. So it's not overly expensive. A piece of bread was like 10 or 15, so it's not like a crazy expensive uh, price. But there's another ship for us to buy and upgrade to. I think, yeah, I think it's bigger. Th yeah, it is bigger than our current ship. So a little bit more room uh, for 12,500 gold. Wow, so that's going to be a long time uh, quest. Um, but the map looks really, really beautiful too. And the sailing is, is re it feels good. You just got to monitor the, uh, I mean, if you've ever played, for example, uh, Stranded Deep before or any other basic sailing game, you know how to do tacking where you just basically pay attention to the wind uh, below, blowing in a certain direction. You follow that with your sail and just try to manage it the best you can against uh, obstacles and other things that could be in your way like water and uh, also try to maintain your cargo. But there's really cool uh, cargo cranes here, so I'm hoping then in the future we could actually use these to offload. Wouldn't that be cool? Especially in multiplayer to work with a friend to offload a large ship. Now the other large boat that we can play as, we'll try to find that and take a look at it too, um, is definitely one that I want to try to command. And since we had a little oopsies earlier, this is a good opportunity to then take a tour around the cities, which are interesting as well. I'd love to see more market vendors here, more people walking around, uh, maybe mules and donkeys bringing cargo through and different music. Uh, would be really neat. There's a main entrance there into the, what seems to be the inner castle or the sanctum of the of the kingdom here, which could be the capital of these lands. I'm not sure, but it's definitely a beautiful spot, and there's plenty of things to go and see. Oh, yes, they're drying out their boards. <laughs> I think those are supposed to be pants, but you get it. Right, so let's go ahead and see if we can find another ship. Um, so mostly by the pier is where you're going to be, so this is kind of just detailing. But there could be more quests and other things in the future that might require combat. I, I haven't seen any sort of weaponry in the game at the moment um, with my own eyes. But that doesn't mean that something won't be added in the future. Like the ability to harpoon to other ships or, or something like that. There could be more quests for uh, combat in the future. Or going to recover cargo by doing that as well. Alright, so this is the second largest ship here. So perhaps the uh, other islands that are here, the academy and whatnot... We'll have those to take a look at and uh, to buy. Here's some carts here. So, yeah, it'll be cool if we could... Actually, can we use these? Oh, man, that would be really, really awesome to be able to take one of these carts down to our boat, load it with crates, put the crates onto the cart, and then bring it to one of the uh, traders in order to turn in our quest. That'd be fantastic. So, I'm actually impressed with the size of this boat. That's that's a pretty decent boat to handle, but you can see the upgrade for 12000 is double the trouble. So, let's go see some other boats and some other places now. Well, let's try the third map in the series. I, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's a region, so I was right about my theory on those being different uh, places to go and explore. And this one, seeing as it right here looks to be more uh, complete than the other areas, at least more um, built up. Yeah, we have multi-story buildings made of brick. That looks great. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? Sausage and bread to buy and buildings that look really cool. We got a beer meister here. Cool. Wine. Coconut wine and whatnot. And look, the town is having a festival. Very nice to actually walk around these places, though you probably won't be doing too much walking until you find the... Once you find where the trader is, you'll be coming and going quickly to get about your business, spending most of your time on your ship and sleeping when you need to. Although I don't know if there's a way to sleep here. It'd be kind of cool if there was some sort of bonus for an inn. Oh, look at that. We, ha we have ourselves a, a map to purchase, too. Wow, there's a lot of stuff to buy. A quadrant uh, can be used to find your latitude by measuring the angle between the North Star and the horizon. Wow! This actually takes into account then some actual techniques to do that. And a broom, I don't know why, for what? For, to fly there? I'm no witch, ma'am. But we have, have a fishing pole and stuff too. So that's really cool. A lot of good stuff to buy at this first initial area. This is supposed to be the hard map, but it gives us a lot of good starting stuff. Although we only have 100, uh, 100 gold. But this is a good home port, or whatever you want to call it. We can actually cheat a little bit and take a look at the map. Sorry, ma'am, I'm, I'm going to be like doing what you do at the uh, comic book store. So we're here at the fort, I believe. So there's Sunspire, a uh, large island over there, what looks to be 
possibly a volcano, and then another island in the north. Now, is there uh, things in here like giant squids and, I don't know, Davy Jones and all those other things? I'm not too sure, but guy actually looks like he's holding a gun. Like in his, Does he have a holster there? I'm not sure. But maybe we could actually get some weapons to fire back at the enemy, too. If there's, if there's any enemies out there, it would be good to buy it here at the fort. Okay, well, the wind is uh, in our favor this time. Great. Let's go ahead and see if we can get underway and finally pull away from the dock. Uh, we're not going to go for cargo or anything. Oh, we can actually... Wait, can we push the, the boat? Or can we pull it at all with the rope? I wanted to see if there's a way I could try to tow the boat away from the, the dock. Maybe there's a way. All right, let's grab the other... Uh, Oh, we can uh, adjust the sails from here. Cool. Where's the other mooring? There we go. So up top. There we go. Cool. We are free. And let's go ahead and proceed. So yeah, we've got all of our typical equipment here. Uh, but that's really cool how we actually have some pieces of equipment that we can purchase to make naval uh, travel easier. I don't know if our anchor's down here or not. Looks like we lower the anchor by hand. Let's check real quick to see. All right. Cool. All right, let's try to get out of here and uh, avoid the other ships. We'll uh, bring the sails down. It's my first time on this ship, so we'll kind of have to figure some things out. Oh, we're already already going pretty fast, so that's, that's enough for now, just to get out of here and avoid that other boat. Ooh, we're scraping. Oh, boy. So the ship's might possibly take damage. I'm not sure, but it looks like in our previous map we did take on water, so I don't know if there's a way to actually get water out of your ship, or I guess off your ship, because we can't go below deck. But it will be interesting to see what the techniques to ensure that you stay above water and mitigate damage if you encounter it. I don't see any way to repair no hammers or any sort of uh, planks or whatnot, but it's good enough for me. Alright, this guy's going to be blocking our way. Let's go around. All right, so according to this, we're already facing, uh... Yeah, we could actually turn due south and find out what's to our south, which I think was, uh... If we go southeast, we can find that large volcano island, which might be visible right there. Let's go ahead and make a turn there. One of the uh, second size ships that we saw. I'm really impressed with this. It, it, again, it's um, basic, yet simple, yet very detailed. Uh, there are all the features there that you would expect for sailing a ship of this size, but also, or a boat, or or uh, just like a small little dinghy, I suppose. But also the ability to use all the navigation tools, which make that a little bit more fun in the storm, and in a little bit more of a hardcore mode. So let's see here. Um, so we're now going to head southeast, so it should be the island, uh, I think it's this one here, Mount whatever, but it could be a little further than that. Okay, let's go ahead and use the uh, sails here and open her up full now that we're away from the harbor. All right, unfurl the sails. How do I do this one? Oh, that's the anchor. Uh, let's see. Oop, I'm stuck. Um, probably this one here. And there it goes. All right, where's our wind coming from? Looks like it's coming in. Oh, it's blowing from our, our left here, the port side. So we should be able to angle the sail a bit. That one should be all right there. Oh, that's still that one. Oh, so we can adjust this way. We'll tighten the sails on one side. I believe that's loosening it. So we might want to bring it in on this side. In Sea of Thieves, it's really the only experience I have at sail. Uh, you can basically do that by grabbing the edge and, and pulling it in. Uh, but in this case, well, the wind could have changed again. 
But we'll sw uh, we'll swing into the wind. So we can just start doing some tacking that direction. It'll make it a little easier. And we've lost our propulsion. In main engine room's down. Torpedo incoming. Wow, we're actually... Wow, I'm actually reversing. <laughs> yep, there it is. All right. Let's pull that back up then. No need for that to happen. Wow, that actually is cool. They've done a great job of simulating what can go wrong. It's actually neat that instead of it not just not working, it actually will work incorrectly and it'll push you in the directions that you don't actually intend to go in. That's a, that's really cool. Just learning as we go here. But yeah, that, that's really neat. I like that. So if you do it wrong, you'll be pushed. At, that could be a technique to push out of a, uh, of a port space too if you need to, to go backwards a little bit. Definitely a viable tactic to, to get out of a tricky situation. Now the wind is uh, blowing completely against us now, yeah. So we're, we're heading in reverse. <laughs> hey, you didn't expect anything more than that from me, did you? Cool. Well, just imagine that we're pointed the right direction, and imagine that we're heading towards the island over there just to explore a little bit, and we'll get there shortly. All right, we're heading at high speed now, damn it. I got it uh, figured out a little bit, so we're heading into the... Uh, I'm trying to go to that island over there, so we're of course have the w wind in our sails, and we'll swing to the port side and see how we can manage. There's the uh, danger of tipping over too if we don't do it right. So there we go. Well, I've got lots to learn. This is a fantastic tool for those of you knowing what's going on and you know what should be turned or what should be adjusted in order to be more efficient. I think you're going to really like this because it does give you the experience of doing it uh, one on your own. So you're responsible for everything that, uh, you know, can go wrong or can go right. And, of course, you get a lot of fun and satisfaction over delivering that cargo and uh, doing all the things to keep your reputation uh, intact. Where's that sail? Wow, it's going... Is it directly? Wow, 90 degrees to our right. That's crazy. Starboard side. Well, since this is working, I'm going to try to keep things this direction. Looks looks like it's working, so I'm not going to adjust too much. Well, we'll try to make way for Death Mountain over here. Wow, the, the map looks really nice. The uh, water looks really, really good. The ships look great. The islands are interesting. Now I'm just hoping for some more interesting cargo and or uh, hazards to encounter. However, we don't really necessarily need that. It's not like every uh, journey needs to be a painstaking, arduous task that uh, death looms around every corner. Sometimes just delivering maybe like uh, five boxes of gunpowder or something. Uh, from the fort to another area is, is enough. And that's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can get to this island now. And we'll see what happens when we get there. We'll keep on sailing. Very nice. Man, those sails are massive, aren't they? Wow, we're going to be there in no time. All right, we're still heading. In the right direction. 